swarmed by a horde of VIPs with a sprinkling of columnists sprinkled in, I make my into a substantial building that is organized as a decades-old stockroom in San Francisco. I pass a chain-link fence lodging nose bottles and am welcomed by recognizable four-wheeled characters, a 12 Subaru WRX SDI, a 97 Mazda RX-7, a 74 Descort RS-1600, and a 69 Dodge Daytona. On the off chance that you've seen the third, sixth, and seventh excursion of the $5 billion Fast and Furious establishment, these are the movie's co-stars showing up in the line for Universal Studios Florida's most recent fascination, Fast and Furious, Supercharged. The autos all look legitimate, and they should. The WRX and Daytona are genuine prop vehicles from their particular movies. Dennis McCarthy, the picture car coordinator whose organization vehicle effects manufactured the greater part of the autos for the Fast and Furious movies, post-Tokyo Drift, gave 15 of them to the ride. For autos McCarthy couldn't source from generation, substitutions were worked to look simply like their extra-large screen partners, for example, the Mazda RX-7, Ford Escort, and Toyota Supra. Furthermore, McCarthy manufactured two custom vehicles solely for the Orlando fascination, an AV truck and a turbo truck. The previous screens present ludicrous character Tej, while the last creation speaks to the tow vehicle for the gathering transport visitors ride on. Having been on the first Fast and Furious ride at Universal Studios Hollywood, Tej and the turbo truck are new increments, just like the carport set. In California, the fascination is a piece of the bigger studio tour, where visitors fly out by cable car into the backlot of Universal Pictures' working film studio. There, Fast and Furious is a piece of a few encounters. In Florida, the fascination is independent, taking into consideration extra world working amid the line which incorporates the expansion of ludicrous character. As I move along the line, I see the props and set dressing. All-inclusive went the additional mile in this division. Red Recuro seats, a titanium suppressor and a front clasp from a R33 Nissan Skyline GTS lie calmly on the opposite side of steel stanchions. I advance past the motor parts, headers, body boards, coilovers, and different other car points of interest, and touch base in a stay with a live on-screen character. She sets up a portion of the back's story for the ride and presents Jordana Brewster on screen. Like Tej, her character Mia is another expansion and clarifies the region we're holding up in is the family room, a gesture to all the Fast and Furious family photographs sprinkled about. My eyes meander to a side of the room, to a mass of lockers with two pictures on its side. On top is a photograph of Mia, straightforwardly underneath is one of Brian, Paul Walker's character. Alongside it. A locker entryway is in part opened with a work shirt hanging off of it. The name fix peruse is Brian. On the ground, beside an easy breezy tangle, is a toy R34 Nissan Skyline GTR, a vehicle both the character and on-screen character were known for driving. Embed tearing emoticon. Pleasantly done, Universal Studios. The following room is Tej's base of tasks, the second pressure. Another no-frills performing artist paces in the war room like condition loaded with screams. Ted shows up on screen, and keeping in mind that he's talking, Van Diesel's Dominic Tarlin The Rocks Hobbs brings in, notice that Shaw, the Skalawag from Fast and Furious 6, is going to jump on our area. Safe to state, this ride is completely more charming on the off chance that you've watched the movies. What's more, in the event that you have, there's a committed Fast and Furious, supercharged versatile experience on the Recreation Center's application where you can take tests, and read up on character profiles and altered messages. A turbo truck pulls up pulling a gathering transport with blazing neon lights and booming music. The vehicle is trackless and completely computerized. Dissimilar to Hollywood, 3D glasses are never again required. Utilizing the most recent in projection innovation, the video is shown at a higher determination and expanded edge rate giving characters an existence-like appearance. The setting has been changed from Los Angeles to San Francisco, to fit the ride's physical area in the San Francisco-themed some portion of Universal Studios Florida. The primary room we drive through is arranged as the Bay Area with four of McCarthy's autos in plain view. Other than that, Whatever remains of the substance gives off an impression of being to a great extent the same from what I recall from the Hollywood stop. So how is the new ride? I can't resist the urge to contrast it with the first involvement in Hollywood, which a piece of the studio tour, so being on a moderate moving, 
prepare-like vehicle tempered my desires. The new ride in Orlando is an independent involvement in Orlando, yet the gathering transport condition felt constrained and disengaged. Neither one of the party's transports or cable cars masked in that capacity are quick or angry. Littler, more agile ride vehicles made to look like games autos would have been more in vain with the establishment. Widespread transformers, the Ride 3D is an awesome case of this. The experience is still exceptionally engaging, coming full circle in an activity stuffed pursue arrangement loaded with flying autos, helicopters and overwhelming fast heroes and rivals showed on a wraparound screen. With the gathering transport yoing, the breeze machines brushing and the periodic smoke going off, the impression of speed feels genuine. Consolidate that with the stellar activity of drenching you into the universe of the movies amid the line, for fans needing to be a piece of Dom's family, Universal Studios Florida's Fast and Furious, Supercharged is more or less close.